Imagine an AI agent so powerful that it can do nearly anything for you fully autonomously. So you give a simple text prompt asking the AI agent to do something and it will now spin up a new computer instance, open a web browser and do exactly what you asked it to do and get going from there. For example, you can ask the AI agent to apply for jobs based on your profile on behalf of you, find cheap flights, do reservations, do research or whatever stuff that you ask the AI agent to do, well, it will do it in no time. And today in this video, I'll show you all about this incredible god tier AI agent and I'll also show you how we can get started with the same in no time. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Deep Agent by Abacus AI and this is the God tier AI agent that I've been talking about. And now if you do want to use Deep Agent, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to deepagent.abacus.ai and sign up for a new account. And again, Deep Agent is incredibly cheap at just $10 a month. And now as you can see, it says Deep Agent is capable of all type of complex tasks. It can build apps, write reports, create presentations and automatically connect to all your systems and perform agentic tasks. So basically, we'll be using Deep Agent in this video. So first thing first, hit the first link in the description below, go ahead and sign up for a new account and open Deep Agent. And now once you open Deep Agent, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And now towards the top, it says what you want to do and it says Deep Agent is capable of creating apps, documents and doing pretty much any task. I mean, this agent can literally do anything. Starting from doing some basic research or deep research, creating AI workflows or automations, or let's say creating a PowerPoint presentation, creating videos, all the way to creating full stack apps with authentication database and file storage. I mean, this AI agent can do all of it. And now yet another cool thing about Deep Agent is the fact that it can independently operate a computer and do task oriented things for you. For example, whatever stuff that you can do on a computer, well, you can just ask Deep Agent to do it on its own computer and you can just give a plain simple prompt in English and hit enter. Now Deep Agent will spin up a new computer instance and do exactly what you asked it to do and show you the final output. So as you can see, here we have an option that says browser use. And now today in this video, I'll show you a couple of use cases as to how we can use the computer use tool right within Deep Agent. So again, getting started and using Deep Agent is pretty simple and straightforward. So whatever be the tasks that you want to do, you just explain that in this input box right here and click on send. And now Deep Agent might ask you some follow up questions and give answers to it and hit enter. And now you can sit back and relax while Deep Agent does the rest. And now just to show you a demo as to how powerful and incredible Deep Agent is, I will give a simple prompt something like this and I'll begin with this one right here. So it says search YouTube for the most popular jazz music across globe and create a playlist with at least 20 tracks on YouTube and call it Jazz Evergreen. So basically I want Deep Agent to log into my YouTube account and after that search for jazz music across the globe like the popular ones and create a playlist called as Jazz Evergreen and save it on to my YouTube account. And now all I gotta do is to click on this send button right here. Now it says before I help you create a YouTube playlist with popular jazz music, I need to clarify a few things. What specific jazz uh, subgenre or style are you most interested in? Let's say smooth. Do you prefer jazz standards from classic legendary? Mix of both. Uh, let's say next. Should the playlist focus on instrumental vocal or combination of both? Let's say combination of both. And again, any particular time period? No time period. So basically, after you give a prompt, it is now asking a follow up prompts and you can just go ahead and answer that or you can let the AI choose the right answer or let's say the right option for you. And now I can hit enter and let's see what happens. And now it says searching YouTube and creating Jaws Evergreen playlist. All right, so it seems like it is currently in progress. So let's wait anyways. All right, so it seems like the AI agent is now searching the web or particularly in YouTube to find all the jazz music. So I believe we asked it to find around, let's say 20, right? Okay, 20 tracks. So right now it is finding all these musics on YouTube. In which case, let's wait. So there you go. So Deep Agent just opened up Google Chrome web browser and opened up youtube.com. And now it is asking us to sign in to YouTube. And once you sign in, it will stay there for, and you can actually go ahead and use it in the future as well. But it now says sign in to YouTube. And after that, it will, I mean, once you're signed in, it will automatically do everything. So towards the top right, I can find the sign in option. So I'll click on the same. And now I'll enter my email. This is like a dummy email that I have. So I log into the same. So there you go. I'm now logged into YouTube and now I can simply go ahead and say, I have logged in to YouTube. Please continue. And now I can hit enter. 
and now that i am logged into my youtube account now deep agent will have full access to it and it will do exactly what i asked it to do in this case i asked it to create a youtube playlist with some jazz you know songs and again the title has to be jazz evergreen and now watch as deep agent does the same and now as you can see deep agent is now searching for songs on youtube on behalf of me like i'm not doing anything so it is actually referring to the list it has prepared already and now it is searching for each and every song name on youtube and it will go through the search result and now it has opened up the actual song okay so let's wait it has now scrolled down and all right so it has actually clicked on that particular three dots icon and now i can find the save option and now it has clicked on that particular button and now it opened up the pop-up where it can create a new playlist so there you go it is now trying to create a new playlist and we want the title to be jazz evergreen so hopefully it will enter that in the title section okay so jazz evergreen so we actually have some problem with this you know caps lock and all that but hey that's okay and now okay so it says saved to jazz evergreen so you can find that towards the bottom so basically deep agent has added the first song into our playlist so it has actually went ahead and searched and prepared the list of songs in the first place and then logged into our youtube account then created a new playlist and added the first song and next up it is going to add the second one so let's see so it has searched for the second song i believe so let's see and now it has opened up yet another song and hopefully it will click on the save button again and save the same to our playlist so let's see okay so it says the video has loaded and all right okay so it is now scrolling okay so it has clicked on that three dots icon and now hopefully it will click on the save video button and again there you go here we have the newly created playlist and it will now select that and there you go add it to jazz evergreen and again it will repeat the exact same step for the next 20 songs because we asked it to add like 20 tracks and maybe for now i'll click on the stop button so basically that's how simple it is so you can go ahead and give a prompt asking the ai agent to do pretty much anything so in this case we asked the ai agent to prepare a playlist of jazz songs and as you saw it spun up a new computer instance opened up google chrome visited youtube and started doing exactly what we asked for and now in a similar case you can ask the ai agent to do anything and deep agent can open a web browser visit pretty much any website out there and do anything for you and next up i'll give another prompt and it says i'm a java developer with seven years of experience so could you please find some job opportunities for me in new york and now i'll click on the send button and now deep agent will go ahead and find opportunities for a java developer with seven years of experience and list the same in here so let's wait for it so there you go it is now searching for java developer opportunities and it is going through all the search results and first of all it will find all the opportunities so as you can see towards the right side you can find all the websites that the ai agent is going through so we don't really have to do anything i just told the ai agent that i'm a java developer with about seven years of experience and i'm looking for a new job in new york and could you please find the same and now the ai agent is doing pretty much everything for me without me having to do anything manually in which ways let's sit back and relax and let the ai agent complete its thing and i'll see you afterwards so there you go after searching for java opportunities in the new york it has found all these opportunities for example first of all it says java developer job opportunities in new york so compiled for a java developer with seven years of experience and here we can find the market overview salary range hourly contract rates and here we have top hiring companies that is financial services and fintech okay we have tech and fintech startups so there we go here we can find a complete list of all the companies that are currently hiring for uh, java developers with seven years of experience and if i were to let's say manually search and do all this thing by myself it will literally take forever so i just asked the ai agent within deep agent to do it and here we already have the results next up i'll give another prompt and it says go to linkedin find all the ceos of sp tech companies and send a connection request and this time around i want deep agent to log into my linkedin account and use my linkedin account to find ceos of sp tech companies and send a connection request and now all i gotta do is to click on the send button right here and now it says before i help you connect with ceos on linkedin i need to clarify a few things so what specific type of tech companies are you most interested in 
what size company should i focus on that is startup mid size large corporation or all sizes what message would you like to include with the connection request and are there any specific ceos or companies you would particularly like to connect with and now i'll fill in some you know details in here and i'll click on enter and now as you can see it has now went ahead and opened up linkedin and i'll quickly log into my account and after that it will go ahead and search for the names of all the people it have identified and send connection request so as you can see it is sending all these connection request on behalf of me and that's how simple it is so these are some of the incredible use cases of using abacus as deep agent so what are stuff that you want to do well you can just ask deep agent to do that and hit enter and the ai agent will take care of the rest so whatever stuff that can be done on a computer well deep agent can do it for you and now i just wanted to show you how deep agent works and some things that you can do with deep agent and now depending on your use case or what exactly you want to do you can head over to deep agent and give a simple text prompt in here and hit enter and get going and now deep agent is a full fledged ai agent that can literally do anything for you from creating apps short videos ai workflows chatbots deep research and even use browser to automate nearly anything so if you do want to try out deep agent just click the first link in the description below head over to deep agent sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next one